Hi and welcome back to the Gingery uh, milling machine build. <coughs> Going to mark off this uh, headstand uh, ways. Um, really should have done that before I did the alignment to the bed ways. Nevertheless, it must have been the heat. It was about 45 degrees when I did the um, uh, did this alignment. It's it's now, believe it or not, um, three hours later and it's uh, 29, 30 degrees. So it's quite pleasant actually. Okay, first one is 48 millimetres. 48. I oh, know we're going to get them over the box there. So we'll do the second one of 89. Next one's 130. Of course, the uh, the book, being an American writer, is in uh, inches, but um, I've converted it to metric because <coughs> it's a lot easier to follow. Um, you know, inch, inch and seven eight plus. Uh, uh, the next one's inch and um, five eight from the last mark. Uh, then the next one again is another inch and five eight from the previous mark. Uh, uh, too, too many numbers, too many fractions to work with. Just give me whole numbers to work with. So we've got 130, then 171. So 171, and again it's going to be on that bolt. So Let's lift it above the box. And the first one was forty eight. These are by no means uh, critical numbers, it's just to uh, make it look nice. And 48. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Check to make sure that the first one clears the gap in the bottom here and that the last one here, here is not off the end. So, um, uh, this can be um, well, I'll take the plate off and then finish marking the plate, transposing those across, drilling the plate, then it's back onto here, well I'll pilot drill the plate, back onto this, realign the whole thing and start again. So let's um,
Okay, off to the drill press. Okay. <coughs> this plate's drilled, but it's not the plate I used the first time round. I made a mistake uh, when drilling this plate. It's supposed to have a uh, 7 sixteenths overhang on this right hand edge and when I did all when I did all the measurements and the marking out um, I made the 7 sixteenths on the left hand side not the right so that plate had to go made it had to make a new plate and um, yeah it's now got the 7 sixteenths clearance it's all drilled countersunk bolted up I've now got it square with the, uh, the bed, I've got it parallel to the bed and uh, the four bolts are being locked down. There's a slight amount of uh, movement of the head on these bolts to overcome that. Gingery uh, recommends two dowel pins uh, to lock the headstand to the base. I'll be using roll pins but um, at the present moment I won't put them in. I've got to think this through to see if this headstand has to come off again because if it does, once those roll pins are in, it, it won't be uh, as easy to take off. It, it will come off. I've got to belt it off with a hammer. But um, yeah, I'll <coughs> I've got to work out uh, when to put those roll pins in. I'll probably have to put them in now, but uh, before I continue, but um, I'll sleep on that. Um, yeah, for the moment, this will come to a uh, stop because I need a lathe, and um, my lathe a couple of months ago decided to um, pack it in. I don't know whether it's the uh, controller or the, uh, the motor, uh, either way, I've um, got myself a, a 240 volt motor and uh, a couple of uh, three-step pulleys and I'll just be doing it the old driveway. My lathe is just a little mini lathe, not much bigger than what this uh, milling machine is. Um, doesn't do anything big, but it turns steel. That's all I need. So, thanks for stopping by and um, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.